Hello and welcome to Baby Animal Month. Today we're going to be drawing this cute little calf. Don't forget that there's a link in the description below to all the different baby animal videos. For this one, you're going to need some plain white paper, a black pen, a pencil, and an eraser. We're going to start off our calf with a circle, just here towards the right hand side of the page. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, you can draw around something, draw around the bottom of a glass, or use a compass or anything circular. If you would like to learn how to draw a circle freehand, I've got a hack which you can find in the video up there. Okay, so there's our first circle. Now we're going to be drawing another circle for the other part of the body. It's going to be slightly higher and ever so slightly smaller. So I'm just going to draw it a little bit higher. Try and make it a little bit smaller. They don't have to be perfect, look, mine aren't perfect at all. Look at that mess. Doesn't matter, these are preparatory lines, so these are just the ones that are going to help us put all the details on. There we go. Brilliant! Now we're going to be drawing an oval shape. That's going to be the head. It's going to go just here. So starting, if you can imagine, halfway on this circle, just go up a little bit, and that's where the bottom of the head's going to be. So just an oval shape, just like this. Comes around, just like so. Something like that. Now we're going to be drawing a circle for the muzzle area. So just one, just there. I'm going to be drawing some diamond shaped ears, so just follow what I'm doing here. Remember if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. There's no problem in going back and there's no problem in pausing the video either. Got to remember I'm used to drawing, so you might be able to go at the same pace as me or you might be able to go a little bit slower or even a little bit faster. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to add the eyes, so one eye is just underneath level to the bottom of this ear. So I'm just going to draw a little blob there, and another little blob there for the other eye. It's kind of taking shape, isn't it? Now for the back, so the back I'm just going to use one line to join the top of this circle to the top of that circle. That part was really easy, wasn't it? Okay, now for the tummy, very similar, so from here, just going upwards like that. Now for the leg, I'm going to measure the leg loosely by using my fingers, so the distance from the top of that circle to the bottom of that circle is going to be the same, so I'm just going to make a little mark there. You can use a ruler if you like, but I, I don't usually use a ruler. Just do a line coming downwards till you hit that line there. There's a little kink in it at the bottom and then the hoof, just like that. And now for the hind leg, so just coming out from here, it's got a bend in it, so you go diagonally first and then it goes down and then it goes slightly forward and then we stick the hoof on, just checking that they're kind of the same, that they're level, yeah. And then I just stick the hoof on the end there. Awesome. Now I've switched to pen, but please carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see it better on camera. I'm going to start off by doing the eye. We're going to be adding some detail now. Remember, they've got these beautiful lashes. Now, female calves are called heifers and male calves are called bull calves. And then they become female calves, become a cow when they give birth to their first calf, which is usually around two years of age. There we go, that's the first eye. Then I'm going to do the other eye on this side. Try and make them parallel so that they're in line. And then don't forget the lovely eyelashes. And then a little bit of light showing, like on the other one. We're now going to add in the nose area. So, comes down around like that. Same on this one. 
is down in the middle. And then just leave a little gap blank so that it looks like it's shiny. See that? Okay, I'm just going to carry on the mouth on either side. There we go. And a little bit underneath. I'm now going to draw the ears. So, these beautiful big ears. Not quite as diamond shape as I made them earlier make them look a little bit more realistic. So something like that, okay? And then I'm going to do the other one. Try and make them the same size. Just like this. And then some lines in the middle. Now we're going to carry on the head. It's a little bit flatter at the top then the oval shape that we drew before and then it comes down and round and then the same on this side down and round and underneath here and then we're just going to add some markings so I'm just going to draw a line if you choose to colour it in later this part is in white up like that and then the same on the other side under there. There's like this star shape here in the center. So we're going to carry on with the back. So just follow the line that we did before. Did you know that a newborn calf can see, stand and walk already? I didn't know that. Okay, I'm drawing the tail just like that. Now I'm going to draw the back of the rump area. So just coming round. So I get to about there, then I'm going to start the leg, just drawing a few little furry bits there. There we go, coming down, and then for the hoof there. And then this carries on upwards like we did before. I'm drawing on the other side of this line, so this preparatory line goes through the middle of the leg all the way up, like so, just a little bit higher than this circle here. I'm going to carry this line up, just like that. Now starting from the front, I'm going to be drawing chest area, and then we're going to stop there. This line's going to go through the middle of the front leg as well, so I'm going to draw the front part with the knee bit. And then the hoof. Just what we did before. Another little bulgy bit for the back of the knee. And then it joins the body. Just like that. And now for the tummy, it's a little bit furry, so I'm going to be drawing these little wispy lines. Just like that, just to make it look like it's furry. Okay? Now for the other hind leg, this one's just peeping out from behind this one. So it's going to go down, just like that. Okay, and then the back of it, and up. And then the same for the front leg. So this one's peeping out from behind this front one, goes down, and then the other hoof. I'm going to colour in all the hooves now. I did a little bit on that one. Did you know that cows have four chambered stomachs to help them digest the tough plant fibres? So a cow rechews its food multiple times before it passes on to the rest of the digestive system. So that's why it's called chewing the cud, when you see them chewing and chewing and chewing. Now I'm going to erase all the pencil lines, and if you haven't gone over it already in pen, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil lines. 
Okay, so I've raised all the pencil lines. I'm just going to finish off this tail. At the back there. I'm just gonna add another line just to make it darker there for the shadow. Now I'm going to add some wrinkles here because the little calf is just turning. So it's turning its head, so it's got a little bit wrinkly here. There we go. I'm going to add in a little bit of shadow down the bottom here and on the inside of this leg and on the back of this leg here. Add a little bit more on the back of this leg here and on the inside leg here. Just like that, and then underneath the chin area a little bit. And obviously inside the ears. And there's a little crease here as well. And on the tummy. And then now we're going to just draw some grass because we can't have it just floating in the air. I'm just going to bring this tummy down just a little bit more by adding a bit more shadow there. I'm just going to add in a little bit more shading just here. And one line just going across here just to show the muscle. And there we have our finished calf drawing. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then check out all the Baby Animal series. You're gonna absolutely love this video here. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and leave me a comment in the comment section below if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.